Spikey and Bubbles are flying a kite. They're having fun, but it's a dangerous setting. Spikey is flying the kite too close to the power lines. If the kite gets stuck in the power lines, he could get an electric shock. How? Well, the metallic wire of the kite is a conductor, and so is our body. If the kite touches the power line, a large electric current may flow down the wire, moving through the person and into the ground. This completes the circuit and causes an electric shock. That is why, when a large current passes through a person, he or she can receive an electric shock. If the current is very strong, it can prove to be fatal. An electric shock occurs when a person touches live or damaged wires, causing current to flow through his or her body. Besides electric shocks, unsafe use of electricity can also cause short circuiting. A short circuit occurs when wires accidentally touch, forming a path of very low resistance. This draws a large current from the source and overheats the wires. This overheating of the conducting wires can also result in a fire. But even with all these dangers, we need electricity in our daily lives. What can we do? Spikey does have a point. To solve this problem, we can use the following devices to ensure the safe use of electricity. Fuses, miniature circuit breakers or MCBs, earth wires, three pin plugs, earth leakage circuit breakers or ELCBs. Let's take a closer look at these devices. A fuse is a piece of thin conducting wire with a low melting point connected to the circuit. When the current in the circuit exceeds a safe limit, the fuse heats up and melts, breaking the circuit and stopping the flow of current. Fuses protect against short circuits and overloading. But replacing a fuse again and again can be quite tiresome. To overcome this problem, automatic fuses called miniature circuit breakers or MCBs are used. Whenever there is an excess amount of current flow in the circuit, the MCB automatically trips off, thus breaking the circuit. The MCB can then be turned back on like a switch without the need to replace the automatic fuse. Next are earth wires. Earth wires protect us from electric shocks by sending excess current into the ground. If short circuiting occurs in a device, current will flow directly into the earth through the earth wire. This protects the person who touches the faulty wire. Let's discuss the three pin plug now. Two pins of the plug connect the appliance to the main supply, while the third pin connects the appliance to the earth wire. The earth wire has a similar function. It sends excess current into the ground, thus preventing electric shocks. Lastly, we have the earth leakage circuit breaker. An ELCB is a safety device used in electrical appliances to prevent electric shocks. It detects a small current passing through the earth wire of appliances. It then turns off the power when the amount of current reaches a dangerous level. There are several ways to prevent electric shocks and short circuiting. Here are some of the safety measures we can take. One, don't poke anything into electric sockets. Two, don't touch electrical appliances or sockets when your hands are wet. Water can conduct electricity. 3. Don't use appliances with damaged or exposed wires. 4. Don't overload a power socket by plugging too many appliances into it. This will draw a large current which may burn the wire and cause fires. Be particularly careful about this since many of us like to connect multiple appliances to one socket. 5. Don't change a bulb until you have turned off its switch. 6. Don't try to repair an electrical appliance by yourself. Get an electrician to do it. After learning about the safety measures for using electricity, Spikey and Bubbles are now flying the kite in an open ground, nowhere near the power cables. Let's summarize. The unsafe use of electricity can result in electric shocks and short circuits. 
devices such as fuses, miniature circuit breakers, earth wires, three pin plugs, and earth leakage circuit breakers ensure that we can use electricity safely. We can also take some safety measures to avoid electric shocks.